Ooh boy, Justice League. You knew you were in for a film when yeah. you saw in the opening credits it was a cruel and unusual films production. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta that. say, I guess before we should go into the movie, we should kind of talk a bit about the background of it. You know, yeah. like cool. um, how way back when, after Batman versus Superman, they announced that they were going to do a Justice League movie. And you could kind of tell that that was going to happen with Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Yeah. But um, I don't know. They just kind of built up to it with that, I guess. Let's see. And then after like months and months of filming on like different locations around the world, they were coming close to having a release date. But by the time it was done filming, uh, Zack Snyder, the director, had to leave the project because of a uh, family tragedy, which okay. that, that, was, that meant that um, they had to get a different director to come on board, which is where they got Jeff jo or Joss Whedon. Yes. Anyway, Joss Whedon took a look at what he had so far, Snyder, and he thought that the movie kind of needed some changes. I don't know if it was arming or if he just wanted to put in his own inputs, but immediately he started spending more money on reshoots for scenes. He uh, started editing scenes. And um, let's just say he kind of made his own version of the film. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a co-mingled Joss Whedon, Zack Snyder movie. And I've got to say from like Batman versus Superman and Wonder Woman that uh, Zack Snyder, he is great at like cinematography and visuals and fight scenes. Mm -hmm. And, um, but he's not that good with things like uh, dialogue or plot or that. And Joss Whedon, his, uh, he's kind of known as like the director to have people kind of like standing around and talking in circles, kind of like in uh, Firefly uh Buffy and um yeah. even Avengers as you can mm -hmm. see. Yeah. And so what I was hoping for going into Justice League was a movie that had basically the cinematography, imagery and fight scenes of a Zack Snyder movie and like I guess the character interaction, plot and uh just the color that would be added with uh uh, what would I say, a Joss Whedon take. What do you think about that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, the fight scenes could have been better, definitely. Uh, but the yeah, like you said, the dialogue was quite good. Uh, better than like Batman v Superman, for example, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, let's see. I guess we should get into like the story of Justice League and how yeah. it unfolded. Yeah. Okay. So if memory serves right, it starts out with a really what the heck is going on as you see a criminal running across the Gotham rooftop. And then you see Batman in the shadows being all, I am Batman, Arkham yeah, Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you see that uh, he catches him. And he's like, what do you want with me? And then Batman's like, I need you for bait. And yeah. then suddenly from nowhere, a parrot even comes. Yeah, yeah. And you, and then uh, you as the audience are like, what the heck is going on? Yes. So that kind of, well, it was definitely a hook for the movie to like get your interest at the get go. I got to say, um, I'm thinking I heard that there were like deleted scenes that uh, Whedon got rid of involving like Lex Luthor, the mother boxes, parademons and Batman mm -hmm. that, that I think up to that scene. That um, maybe we'll see in a Snyder cut. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, that beginning scene, it kind of reminded me of uh, Justice League issue one from uh, the New 52. Yeah, that reminded yeah. me of that too. Yeah. There were several kind of like um, moments that reminded me of the New 52 Justice League intro. Like uh, yeah. they're all fighting Superman after he comes mm -hmm. out of yeah, the yeah. grave. And yeah. kind of like how. Flash is going faster than it, it wasn't nearly as good as it was in the comic. Yeah, yeah. Where like Flash was going all around yeah, Superman yeah. saying, you can't touch me. 
And then Superman flicks him yep. and gets a tag on him and hits him. Mm-hmm. I think it was a bit different in this movie, but it was still trying to pay homage to that. So, um, yep. a question about Superman. Do you think he might have been amped by the mother box? Amped by the mother box? Yeah. I don't know. I mean... It did. I did notice that he was really powerful after yeah, coming yeah, back. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he was. I don't know. It seems like he should have. If I was the director, I would have had it so that coming out of the grave, he was a little bit weaker because he hadn't been exposed to the sun in so long. Yeah. And then I would have had it so that because of that, he needs the rest of the Justice League in order to overpower Steppenwolf. But. Mm-hmm. He serves as like the symbol of hope that the team needs to pull through yeah. without, you know, carrying most of the way to that battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so do you think Superman might have been faster than Flash? Faster than Flash? I don't think so. I think like maybe it was because Barry was surprised that yeah. uh, somebody, like Barry was very new to yeah, being yeah. the Flash this movie. I think he was surprised to actually see somebody who was near the same speed that he was. Yeah. I think that Barry, like, they might have similar speeds, like going regularly, but I think Barry has faster acceleration, whereas the longer he's running, the faster he gets. Uh And man just has like a flatline speed, I guess. I don't know. It would have been interesting to see how that race at the end of the movie would have ended up. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you, who do you think won that race then? Flash? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the Flash would have won that race. Uh, it's kind of like that one uh, issue in Flash Rebirth. Uh, not yeah. the Rebirth, Rebirth I, but the one with Jeff Johns, where he tells Superman that... Uh, he tied all those races in the past because they were just for charity and then just yeah, leaves yeah. him in the... Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll have to see. It'll be very interesting to watch the Flash movie to see just how fast this Barry is. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know. That'll definitely be interesting to see. As, um, I'd yeah. say Flash probably would have won. So, yeah. Because yeah. uh, one of my friends brought up the theory that... Uh, you know, Flash said if he won, he would tell the rest of the team, and then maybe that's how he would be known as the fastest man alive. Pretty much, that's a good way to be known as the fastest man alive. Yeah, or it's just, I don't know. Uh, I guess Central City reporters would be like, <laughs> "It's the Flash, the fastest yeah. man alive," or whatever. Yeah. Or um, uh, that'd be. I guess they could all talk about it at brunch, depending mm-hmm. on who won. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I can imagine the next movie starting off with the brunch. So, oh, the... which which could mean that Superman might win. I'm not sure. And then... I don't know. It'd be funny. Just hearing about, like, imagining the team at brunch kind of reminds me of the end scene of Avengers with them going to yeah, Shawarma. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it's, like, also a Joss Whedon movie. Yeah. So, I don't know. He likes his character sitting around eating uh, what you call breakfast or lunch or whatever and talking mm-hmm. or not talking for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know that one scene where um, Flash was uh, he was about to chase up to that car where they had that family in that he was going to push far away yeah, yeah, yeah where he pushes the car yeah um, I think he had quite a head start and then Superman kind of caught up to him when do you remember that oh yeah I remember that yeah. I don't know Maybe it's because he was like new terrain and he was just trying to get around it and stuff. Or yeah, maybe. Maybe there was more time that elapsed between then and uh, that time, like with mm-hmm. Flash evacuating people. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine he probably evacuated more people than just the people in that car. So maybe there was some time that gave Superman to like catch up to where he was. I don't know. Yeah. I, I like, however, that. Superman's first priority before he went into like fight Steppenwolf was, oh my goodness, if we fail, all the people around here are gonna die. We have to get the civilians out first. And yep. uh, even if that doesn't make like tactical sense. That's something that Superman would do. Yeah. I feel like that moment that 
made Superman Superman, if that makes any sense. Yeah. In a way that kind of Batman versus Superman and Man of Steel kind of lacked. 